All right, guys, today I wanted to talk about why it is that I own so many USA made blades. Now, I've kind of talked about this uh, partially in other videos, but the primary reason why, like the TLDR of why I own so many um, USA blades, is because honestly, uh, for this channel, how I kind of draw a lot of my inspiration is partly just what I'm drawn to, like what I like, but also, too, I am at the core a viewer of many other YouTube channels, and you know, there's a large focus for them to, you know, showcase whatever their preferences are, maybe whatever they get paid to show, whatever. There's plenty of driving forces for them. But I feel like as a rule, there's just not a lot of solid information out there on USA brands. And even when I started like making this conversion for the channel to start talking about more EDC knives, I really wasn't aware of many of these knife companies, companies like TRM, companies like Tour Knives, companies like um, McNeese, maybe I've heard them in passing, but really wasn't that familiar with them on the whole. So what I really wanted to do with the channel and the reason why I go around collecting so many USA blades is partly because they are what I like. Like a lot of these knives are genuinely blades that I find really cool, really fascinating, or just downright really awesome, you know? And so part of it is, you know, definitely that motivation to have really cool knives that I personally enjoy from a ownership standpoint and knives that I feel motivated to carry, use, and have in the collection as a whole. But also too, like I said, I really want to showcase that, you know, in this world where a lot of conversations are being had, you know, with or by larger, you know, knife tubers, they're saying, oh, you know, the American knife companies are dead, or, you know, there's no good OEMs for these knife designers to go to to get their knives manufactured here in the U.S. And so a lot of these conversations are being had. And honestly, I'm just trying to be that voice that is not necessarily con contrary, you know, on purpose or by you know, like trying or wanting to be contrary, but also that I'm trying to show that there are a lot of good, solid U.S. knife makers out there that are making really genuinely good products that, you know, once again, they may not be cheap. Some of them are more affordable than others, but that there are, you know, still really decent USA made blades out there being made and being sold. And so that if you do, you know, really want something made in the U.S., there's really no excuse to, you know, go for a Chinese made or Taiwanese made or even European uh, made blade. Not to say that different companies don't have their own pros and cons. You know, each country and subsequent company, you know, has their own pros and cons. But at the same time, too, there are a lot of really decent, solid USA made blades out there in the wild just uh, existing. And so that's what I try to cover with the channel uh, as a whole is to say, hey, you know, there are a lot of really good USA made blades out there. And some of them are a little bit, you know, rough around the edges. Some aren't as clean and refined. You know, they don't run on ball bearing, you know, pivots and other such things like that. Potentially, you know, a little bit more expensive, but there are also a lot of really good offerings out there that are truthfully good deals. And so, you know, that's what the whole premise of the channel really is is to bring those kinds of um, knives out showcase them showcase the brands go over them and even just experience or test them because you know once again like i said uh, starting you know past in the past fall you know a lot of these companies i hadn't even heard of so it's like you know with things like mcnees with the mac 2 you know um, i didn't really know much about it so the best way to learn more about a company is to go out there and you know buy a product from them and you know test it run it through your gambit of tests and see you know is it a good decent quality edc net EDC knife, you know, is this something that you should spend your money on? And so that is really the motivation, the purpose, and the drive to the channel, and subsequently why there are so many darn American made blades on the uh on featured on the channel and honestly that I own in the collection, right? So uh yeah, it's kind of it goes both ways, but um yeah, and honestly too, I think that there is a lot of merit to these American made blades, as I said in many other videos, you know, I very much believe that, you know, they're not as prominent as they once were. You know, many of these USA made 
blades and brands are not as prominent as they might have been previously but you know they're still out there making good products i mean protech is a really good example of this you know they make a lot of excellent products and they are almost constantly innovating and a lot of their products come in at very reasonable prices you know like they're very decent blades for their price points and i really don't mind them at all so anyways you know that's uh that's really the motivation to it and why you see so many american made blades as i keep pulling them out you know and showcasing them that you know there's a lot in the collection because there are a lot of really good ones out there and once again you know each company might have its own personal shortfalling but by and large um these are some really solid knives all of the ones i've pulled out so far super solid and uh you know definitely trying to break that trend that you know like the only good american knife company is bench made because it's definitely not and there's a lot of other really solid companies out there that are making really decent blades anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and i'm out